It's an onerous job, finding the key to the heart. But at the world's largest heart bank here in Sydney, doctors are doing their best to help the half a million Australians living with heart failure. This cryo tank contains thousands of human heart samples, snap frozen and stored in the basement of the Charles Perkins Centre in Camperdown. It's a unique resource, the largest in the world. The Sydney Heart Bank is a treasure trove for researchers trying to find more effective treatments for heart failure. If you look at most admissions to hospital in cardiology, over half will be because of heart failure. Transplants are the only way to reverse the problem. Scientists at the University of Sydney and the Heart Research Institute want to change that. What we need to know is why does the heart fail in the first place in order to try and prevent it from happening. They screened thousands of proteins and other molecules from damaged hearts donated by transplant patients. They were compared to healthy donor tissue. We had 44 hearts in total. Researchers identified differences between male and female heart failure samples. They also found that the thyroid hormone plays a role, a potential target for new therapy. Since the bank's inception 30 years ago, 17,000 heart tissue samples are now stored here and the tank's not even 10% full. Their work is all about protecting the hearts of people like Jason Hodsden, who survived two heart attacks. I had one 11 years ago and one five weeks ago. The 46-year-old from St Helens Park has this portable machine to monitor his heart around the clock. It's operating at 25%, but we're hoping it gets up to 35%. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News. For breaking news, turn to Peter Overton, nightly at six.